In just 2.5 months of preparation, I managed to grab offers from 12 plus companies, for example, Microsoft, Navi, CoinSwitchCover, and many more. And I could do all this in spite of having a full-time job. In this video, I'll share with you my entire preparation strategy and the preparation plan that I followed in these 2.5 months in order to be able to grab these offers and how you can also do that if you have the right preparation. I'll share with you my personal notes that I took while preparing for data structure and algorithms and front-end. I'll also share with you the free resources that I followed in order to master these topics. So hi guys, I am Sumiranjan Mohanty, a software engineer at Microsoft and let's get on with it. Before that, let's actually take a look at how I could apply to these companies. So one way was uh, applying directly to the company sites, taking a referral, applying to various job sites like Naukri, Indeed, LinkedIn, etc. And I also followed a very unique way in order to get referrals from people in various companies. So if you want a dedicated video on how I applied to all these companies, uh, please let me know. I'll make a video on that. So now let's get into the preparation phase. So before actually preparing, I had to know which kind of questions were being asked in these companies that I was targeting. There are actually various sites and blogs that you can read in order to get the interview experiences of the people that have applied to these jobs. For example, there is GFG, Geeks for Geeks Archives. We have Lead Code Discuss, and there are various other YouTube channels and blogs which share their interview experiences. I went through all those interview experiences and made a note of the topics which are frequently occurring and the topics which I needed to prepare or revise. So I came to know that in order to apply for a front-end engineer role or a general software engineer role, I had to be proficient in two things. One is data structure and algorithms, which is DSA, and the other one is front-end. From my college days itself, I was interested in web development so i have done various projects and internships in web development so i just had to brush up my skills and practice some questions based on front end for dsa i was not so well prepared so i had to uh, focus more of my preparation on dsa the first thing that you need to do is to choose a language so which language are you comfortable in writing the code so generally i would recommend you to either pick c java or python i went with c because i knew it well and i knew the syntaxes and the usage of the hdls uh, one thing to keep in mind as I was applying for front-end specific roles in some companies They were actually asking me to solve the DSA questions in JavaScript itself So you have to be proficient in JavaScript as well, which you'll come to know in the front-end section So after choosing the language the next thing that I did is I tried to brush up my knowledge on time and space complexity So I went through various videos and tried to find out the time and space complexity of various famous algorithms After that I decided to tackle one topic of DSA at once For example, I started with linked list then I went to stacks queues and so on so now let me share with you the free resources that I followed for each and every topic. Starting with Linklist. For Linklist, I followed Mohammed Farah's YouTube channel. So he has a very beautiful playlist uh, on Linklist. So I think if you complete that playlist, you do not need to look at anywhere else for Linklist. For Sliding Window and Stack, I followed Aditya Verma's playlist. For Recursion, I followed the wonderful playlist made by Shriver. For Dynamic Programming, I went through the playlist of Aditya Verma. For the Tree Concepts, I went through the Lead Code Explore card section. For binary search, I went through a wonderful video made by Ericto and practiced some questions after that. And for C++ HTL, I went through the videos of Shriver. So these were the resources from which I learned about the concepts and practiced some questions. For the other topics, I tried to practice questions from various websites. For solving questions, the main site that I followed was LeetCode. I really like the interface of LeetCode and the discuss section of LeetCode. If you want me to make a dedicated video on how to effectively use LeetCode, Please let me know. I'll make a video on that. So if some questions are not available in LeetCode, I used to search them on Google and find the links to them, um, you know, in sites like GFG or Interviewbit. So while I was learning concepts and practicing questions related to DSA, I created a Notion doc, which you can right now see on the screen. And in that Notion doc, I kept a note of the questions that I have solved, a short note regarding the solution and the actual solution itself. So why exactly did I do this? I did this because I was practicing questions from various platforms. So I wanted to have a central place in which I could access all the questions that I've, uh, you know, practiced and I could revise them whenever I want. So Notion has a mobile application. So whenever I was getting any time, I would open up Notion on my mobile phone and I would revise the solutions. I've shared this Notion document in the description below for free. So you can view my solutions and see the questions that I've solved. Keep in mind that this Notion document also contains some questions which I had solved before my 2.5 months of preparation. So now let's come to the front end side of things. So how I did my front end preparation for brushing up the concepts related to JavaScript. I followed this wonderful playlist made by Akshay Saini called Namaste JavaScript. I re highly recommend you to follow that playlist if you want to have deep knowledge of JavaScript concepts. I also came across a very nice site which contains various interview questions which are asked frequently uh, related to front end. So the site's name is bfe.dev. I'll give its link in the description. I also came across various GitHub repositories, which contained various small challenges, which were to be done using vanilla JavaScript. So I'll also link those in the description. Apart from this, anytime I wanted to know about a particular CSS feature, JavaScript feature, etc., 
I used to search that in MDN and I would get the uh, you know correct explanation along with the examples. I've also shared some other links which I followed for frontend in the description below. So be sure to take a look. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video as well, going through interview experiences is very important because you will be able to understand what level of questions are being asked in the interviews, what are the topics on which you should give more focus on and in some cases questions might also repeat. So you can actually search the interview experiences directly on YouTube. So let's say if you're applying for a company X, so you can write company X frontend interview experience and you'll actually get various videos if people have made it. Apart from this, you can also refer GFG or Geeks for Geeks archives for that particular company. And you can also go to the lead code interview discuss section. There you'll also find the questions that people have posted. Now I would like to share with you some tips and steps that I used to follow during my preparation journey. So after each interview, what I used to do is I would go ahead and write down all the questions that I used to remember in a Google doc or in a notepad somewhere. So what was the benefit of doing this exactly? So many a times the question are basically repeated from one interview to another. So that was really helpful. So I have a small group of friends with whom I discuss all the questions uh, that I failed during the interviews after the interviews are over. So any questions that I was not able to answer or any question that I was not able to solve during the interview, I used to ask them for help or I used to find, uh, you know, try to find the answer from Google or somewhere. And I used to note them down in the Google doc. I can distinctly remember various occasions in which I could answer a particular question only because I had revived it in the earlier stages. The next step that I used to follow is to have mock interviews. So there are various free and paid platforms uh, which you can use to, uh, you know, get yourself mock interviewed. So I used a site called Pramp, Pramp.com for a little bit. I also have a friend who is working in a fan company. So what I did is I invited him to interview me uh, because he has taken a lot of mock interviews. He gave me some really good insights and I could find the area in which I was lacking. So pro tip, if you have a friend, try to have mock interviews with them. The next thing that I want to discuss with you is time management. Time management is one of the most important things that you need to keep in your mind. So in my case, as I was working in a full-time job and I was preparing by this side, I had to manage my time efficiently. So here are some steps that I used to follow. I used to set boundaries for my work and my preparation time. So in the morning time, when I was supposed to do my day job, I used to never look at my interview preparation, uh, you know, materials. And in the night time, when I was, uh, you know, having the time to prepare, I never used to do my office work. So having a strict boundary between the office work and the interview preparation time is very important. Another tip I would like to tell you regarding time management is, as you do not have much time while preparing for interviews, do not give a lot of time on a single question or on a single problem. So do not spend a lot of time on a single problem or on a single question. So let's say if you're not able to solve that question, try to spend 10 to 15 minutes uh, solving that question. If after that also you're not able to solve that, um, you know, go ahead and see the solution. There is no shame in doing that. Go ahead and see the solution and learn the techniques that are used to uh, do the solution. So as I said, right, preparing for the interviews while having a full-time day job was very stressful for me. So what I used to do is I used to find some ways in which I could relieve my stress. So I had recently taken a gym membership. So what I used to do is whenever I used to wake up early in the morning before my work, I used to go to the gym and uh, keep myself fit. So being healthy is very important in order to concentrate more while studying. Even though I could not go to the gym uh, you know, every day I tried to go to the gym uh, on the days in which I did not have interviews and I felt so much better. The next thing that I was very lucky to have was my school friend circle. So as I'm currently working from home in my hometown, all of my, uh, you know, most of my friends are right now staying uh, here in the hometown. So I used to spend time with them. I used to chill with them. I used to, uh, you know, pass time with them. In that way, I could freshen up my mood and I would have, uh, you know, more energy in order to prepare for my interviews. The next thing that I did is I went to Puri with my family. So me, my mother and my sister, we went on a small trip to Puri. We visited the Lord Jagannath temple. Uh, we visited, uh, you know, the beautiful beaches in Puri. Uh, by the way, if you're not following my Instagram profile, try to give it a look because there I generally post videos, photos and reels uh, related to the places that I visit and my life journey. So going to Puri actually freshened up my mind a lot and it relieved a lot of stress. So I continued preparing for my interviews from there and I also gave some interviews from Puri. So I hope you like this video in which I shared my uh, preparation journey, uh, which helped me bag my Microsoft offers and various other offers. So all the links and resources that I mentioned along with my notes are in the description below. So do check them out. And if this video helped you in any way, please uh, make sure to give it a like because a lot of effort goes while making this video. So see you in the next one. Bye. I, I, I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing Take me 